I don't notice on this bike as well, I mean the bars are set I think at the very, at the, the zero degree position, I think it's the standard supply position on them. Um, for me being as tall as I am, if I want to stand up on the bike, the bars are too low. So if I was actually standing up for any off-road uh, or any rough terrain or something that I was traversing across, then uh, I would have to... Um, I would have to put either bar risers on it or potentially what I need to do is I need to actually change the degree angle of the handlebars and bring them up because you can obviously bring them up quite considerably with just actually changing the orientation of them down in the, uh, in the triple clamps there so I need to do that first because when I'm standing up on the bike there for sure um, it's not comfortable for me that's uh, the bars are too low Anyway, not to worry, we can uh, we can make amends to that whenever. So what have I done to the GS since I've got it as well? Oh, I haven't put any other electrical uh, items onto the bike. All I've done is put a uh, pyramid fender extender on the front. And I've changed the, the silver shrouds at the front here to a matte black. I've had them vinyl wrapped. I did, uh, which you would see if you check another video of mine's early doors. I had a go at the vinyl wrapping myself. I have to say, I think we'll leave that to the professionals. But um, yeah, you can do it yourself if you take a little bit of time. But uh, certainly there is a bit of a an act to doing it. It's not uh, the easiest thing to do. Oh, the roads are a lot drier now. I'm in road mode at the moment. Um, still a little bit of dirt left from the residue from the farmers. Had a few days of rain, which cleaned the roads up quite nicely. Um, look at that again, stunning view there. I've deviated a little bit off the coastal path here for a second because I'm going to go up here and I'm going to head down one of the uh, really nice climbs that there is to do on the, if you're into cycling. i just thrown this bike about, I mean it's just such an easy bike to ride. It really is, but I mean you're going to hold it in the lower gears, you don't need to, to use all the the gears, it likes to just sit down and you know the lower gears and you can flick it about and use the engine braking on it. Look at that view again, back down over the Firth of Forth. Absolutely spectacular. Another fantastic golf course just down there that's been built in the last couple of years. Probably four or five years old now I would think. Called the Barney Lynx. Set on the just right adjacent to the wildlife sanctuary down there at Dumbarney. So this road here, what's interesting about this road is because again one of the one of my other passions away from motorcycling is actually uh, cycling and uh, this is one of the toughest climbs that we've got in our area um, this back road here um, so <laughs> it takes me I think it I think my best time coming up it is about nine minutes um, certainly doesn't take nine minutes to come down it. It's certainly uh, challenging. It's got some very, very high percentages of uh, average um, percentages. This the, the climb is it uh, over this last piece here. I think it goes way, way up to something like about sort of fifteen percent in one particular area. So lovely, uh, lovely road to cycle, but very rewarding once you get up there. A little bit dirty because there are a few farms scattered around here. I don't mind the dirt as long as it's not too muddy, you know. I don't mind the dirt on the road, but it's better because it's not muddy because the mud just makes a mess. So one of the steepest sections just coming up here. You can just see how this falls away here, just in front of me. So, look at that. So pedalling up there, I'll tell you what. That is fun. It's right at the start of the climb too, so there's no getting away from it. It hits you right away, so nine minutes worth of hard graft to get up there. Loads the engine braking on the big GS. No touching the brakes at all. No brakes. Just engine braking. And it's virtually stopped at the junction by itself. That is some fantastic engine braking there for you. 
you don't even need to apply the brakes they just came down that 15% uh, gradient there and 